Hi there, welcome back. Today we will create a smoke dissolve effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. From the effects panel, add a fusion composition to the timeline, trim the duration to 2 seconds. Open the composition in the fusion page. Add a text node to the editor and connect to the media out node. Go to the inspector, type in smoke as the text. Change the text size and tracking so it fits in the middle of the screen. Drag a fast noise node from the toolbar to the editor. Connect to the text node as the effect mask input. Press 1 or drag to the left viewer so that we can see the output of the node. To better see the effect result, we can turn off the checker underlay for both viewers. Go to the inspector, set the noise detail to 2, contrast to 5, uncheck the lock XY option. Set X scale to 30, Y scale to 10. Now in the right side viewer, the text is masked out by the random white spots of the fast noise node. While the fast noise node is selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert an erode dilate node after the fast noise node. Press 1 to load the erode node into the left viewer. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. In the inspector, set the filter option to circle. Mark a keyframe for the amount parameter. Increase the amount to expand the white spots until the screen is all white, which is around 0.05. Go to the end of the clip. Decrease the amount to shrink white spots until the screen is all black. As the slider can only get to minus 0.01, we need to enter a lower value in the input field. In this case, enter minus 0.05. Adjust the slider to make sure we have the right value. A new keyframe is added automatically at the end. Play the clip, the text is now dissolved through random shapes. As we examine the transition, I feel that the edges could use some softness. Drag a blur node from the toolbar, insert after the erode node. Increase the blur size to around 3, this is better now. Select the text node, press shift space, find and insert a displace node. Drag another fast nose and node to the editor, connect to the displace node as the foreground input. In the inspector, set the noise detail to 2. Contrast to 5 brightness to 1. Unlock the XY ratio option. Set X scale to 15. Y scale to 10. Select the displace node and go to the inspector. Change the type to XY, set both X and Y channels to alpha. Move playhead to the beginning of the clip. Mark keyframes for both X refraction and Y refraction parameters. Move playhead to the middle of the clip so that we can still see the text. Adjust the X and Y refraction to deform the text. For this demo, I set the X refraction to minus 0.023, Y to minus 0.02. Go to the Settings tab. Set the blend to 0.85, this gives the image a look of multiple layers. Seems like the smoke arises with some traces behind. Open the Keyframes panel. Select the end keyframes, move them to the end of the clip. Select both fast noise and displace nodes, press Ctrl C or right click to make a copy. Click the editor background, press Ctrl V to paste a copy. Disconnect the previous displace node from the media out, reconnect to the new displace node. Connect the new displace node to media out. Select the new fast noise node, change X scale to 2, and leave all others the same as before. 
duplicate another pair of the Displace and Fast Noise node, insert them into the process pipeline, as we did earlier. Select the Fast Noise node. This time we change both the X and Y scale to 10. Play the clip. The transition looks good, but it's going a bit sideways. Select the new Displace node, go to the end of the clip. Set the X refraction from minus 0.023 to 0.023. This pulls the dissolving motion back and makes the transition straight. I think this is better. All right, we now have a cool smoke-like transition that dissolves the text. If you like, you can continue adding more displace nodes to randomize the effect further. One more thing is that the transition lacks some of the movements of a real-life smoke. Right-click the last displace node. Select Insert Tool. Resolve FX Transform. Transform. Move the playhead to the beginning. Go to the inspector and change the control mode to Interactive Canvas. Enable the keyframe for the canvas. Go to the last frame of the clip. In the viewer, click and drag the top middle box up to something like this. A new keyframe is now added automatically. All right, we now have the smoke rising up. If you want, you can change the canvas ending keyframe to extend the image in different directions. For example, top right. All right. Even downwards. For this demo, I will make the smoke go up only. Before we can save this as a template, we need to separate the text input from other nodes. So that we can apply this effect to any other media types, such as images, videos or motion graphics. Select the text node. Click the mat control in the toolbar, a new mat control node is inserted to the pipeline after the text node. Disconnect the blur node from the text and connect to the gray garbage input of the mat control node. Go to the inspector, expand the garbage mat section. Check the invert option. All right, now we can select all the nodes except the text node and media out node. Right click one of the selected nodes, choose macro, create macro. Name the macro essential smoke effect. This time I will not export any parameters for the macro, we can always come to the fusion page to adjust the transition options if it's needed. Save this as a group macro to folder fusion. Templates. Edit. Effects. And essential effects. Close the macro editor and go back to the edit page. We now have the smoke effect available in the effect panel. You may need to restart DaVinci Resolve to ensure the effect is ready in the effects panel. We can simply apply the effect just like any others. For example, a logo image. Or a video clip. Or a compound clip. We can also reverse the effect to reveal a text title. If needed, we can click this Fusion button in the Effect tab to open the effect composition in the Fusion page and adjust the node settings to change the look and feel of the smoke dissolve transition. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.